Americans freed in Russia prisoner swap reunite with families three Americans who were freed in a prisoner swap deal with Russia, including Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich, have arrived back on U.S. soil. Mr. Gershkovich, 32 was one of 16 prisoners swapped for eight Russian prisoners in what has been described as the biggest exchange since the end of the Cold War between Russia and the West. The exchange at an airfield in Turkey also included the release of former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan and Russian-American journalist Alsu Kermasheva. After touching down at Joint Base Andrews, in Maryland, Mr. Gershkovich, Ms. Kermasheva and Mr. Whelan emerged from the jet to cheers from those on the tarmac. All three were greeted by U.S. President Joe Biden and Vice President Kamala Harris before they embraced their families. They lingered on the tarmac for photographs and conversations before leaving the airbase within an hour, as did Mr. Biden and Ms. Harris's motorcades. Speaking ahead of their return, Mr. Biden welcomed their release and declared, their brutal ordeal is over. He praised the role played by America's allies, particularly Germany and Slovenia, and hailed the release of Mr. Whelan. Mr. Gershkovich and Ms. Kermasheva, as well as leading Kremlin critic Vladimir Karamurza, as a feat of diplomacy. The three released Americans were then sent to the Brook Army Medical Center in Texas for a medical checkup. The deal had been more than 18 months in the making and appears to have hinged on Moscow's demand for the return of Vadim Krasikov, who was serving a life sentence in Germany for carrying out an assassination in a Berlin park. He is now back in Russia. In total, 24 people from prisons in seven different countries were exchanged in Ankara, Turkey's presidency said. The prisoners were from the US, Germany, Poland, Slovenia, Norway, Russia, and Belarus. It said in a statement, 10 people, including two minors, were relocated to Russia, 13 prisoners to Germany, and 3 to the U.S., the statement added. In Russia, President Vladimir Putin personally greeted the released Russians with bouquets of flowers at Moscow's Vienikovo airport. He embraced them warmly on a red carpet and said they would be given state awards. Among those returned to Moscow in addition to Krasikov was a Russian couple, convicted of spying in Slovenia, who returned to Russia with their two children. Both NATO and the European Union welcomed the release which it said was mediated by Turkey. German citizen Rico Krieger who was sentenced to death in Belarus before being pardoned by the country's leader Alexander Lukashenko earlier this week, has also been released. Earlier prisoner swap discussions had included jailed Russian opposition leader Alexei Navalny, but the offer collapsed when he died in unclear circumstances in an Arctic penal colony in February. His widow Yulia Navalnaya welcomed the swap, describing it as a joy. The exchange comes after days of speculation about a major swap between various countries, which increased after several dissidents and journalists jailed in Russia were moved from their prison cells to unknown locations.
although secret prison transfers are common in Russia. The multiple disappearances of well-known prisoners were unusual. The last high-profile prisoner swap took place in December 2022. When U.S. basketball star Brittany Griner was exchanged on the tarmac at Abu Dhabi airport for notorious Russian arms dealer Victor Bout, who had been held in an American prison for 12 years. The last comparable one occurred in Vienna in 2010 when 10 Russian spies held in the U.S. were swapped for four alleged double agents held in Russia. One of them was Sergei Skripal, a former military intelligence officer, later poisoned by nerve agent Novichok in Salisbury in 2018. Tensions between Moscow and the West have been high in recent years especially since the Russian invasion of Ukraine in February 2022.